All right, so this is what we went over last night, guys, in the conference call. Uh, the conference call for us. And so uh, these are FZRs, and also this is the uh, momentum set up this morning on the S&P 500. These are two FZR trades. Here's an FZR full zone retracement. Remember the zones, when the zone is red, the zone ATR is red, we're looking for shorts. And when the zone is green, we're looking for longs. So you can see that we've come up to the zone a couple times and we have the, these arrows automatically will print for you. For FZRs, full zone retracements, we had one just happen here. See, one just fired off here automatically right there also. Just now that just happened. So FZRs fire. And then also you have um, you have momentum set up to fire. So a momentum, if you play the conference call last night, I went over. In fact, the last five conference calls, I went over these setups. You can see how neat this is, how there's it's good rhythm inside these zones. You see this one working out quite well that you saw fire live here on the video. The arrow automatically fired automatically. And look, that entry was uh, 37 and a half, and she's a low is 32. So when we've been doing this video, that was five S&P points or 20 ticks just happened just now but if you look at um if you look right here the arrow that fired this is a momentum setup because the oscillator did not get above 20 and we call this a momo or momentum all right so this is a momo So that is a momentum setup. All right, so that's the difference between an FCR and a momentum. The momentum, it will fire if the oscillator does not get above 80, and we get a reversal bar, and you'll see that arrow automatically fire. This is categorized when it got pulled in was actually a momentum trade also because it got above 80, but when it pulled in, it was just below 80. So this will fire as a momentum trade. This arrow will be a momentum, a momo. Because right when it fired, you were below 80. So that's a momentum setup. I'm actually going to leave this in the room um, for you traders. So you can see these fire until this gets out to everybody. Uh, you, you have the you have the uh, ATRs and everything already, and I show when these fire. But I'm going to leave this in the room. Um, we're going to put it over on top of here, just so you can see the momentum of the market. I'll leave it right there, so you can see the um, see when these fire off. But that is a uh, that's a momentum setup that just happened when it fired. When I pull in, it got right below 80, and this was a nice Momo there. So you can see the price action. You can see the FZRs. We go back. We had a tweezer earlier, and then we had another momentum setup there. We had two momentum setups over here. Watch for these tweezers. Now, this happened at 4.30 this morning, but I like these tweezers. With the, I went over this in the conference call. I like the tweezer with the arrow. If you see those fire on these two time frames works out quite well because they're continuation trades and uh, they, they turn to work out quite nicely because it's an indecision in price in the direction of trend so those are two FCRs right there also uh, the guideline for the MOMO as when you get pulled in it's got to at least be below 80 it was right on the edge of it there Phil so uh, according to the program it will fire a MOMO so great little price action here this morning we're getting great price action play the conference call uh, on these because these work out quite well now what I like to do is I like to see first 
This is one of my favorite setups. I like us to come into the zone, right? And then come down, and we talked about this last night, come back up and then get into a Momo. So this second setup with a fill was 37 and a half, or as low as, like I said, 31 and a half, 31 three quarters. I like Momos happening after FZRs because it tells me there's a rejection in price at the, at the zone. So you can see how accurate these zones are. If I go all the way back to midnight, you can see the zone has contained price. It's pretty much contained price all the way down. It has contained price all the way down. That's how accurate these zones are. And it tried to get a little buy set up and it flipped over. Once it flipped over, we've just been in a serious move down to the downside. Um, so it's a neat little way to do it, but that's what we look for. We look for two setups. Look for one full zone retracements into these zones. And then two, that's it. when it comes into the zone and you get a reversal. And two, we look for Momo trades, which is momentum trades. And those are momentum. Which are Momos. All right, those are the two setups you look for all day long. And they happen, and these happen in all markets. This is not just one market. This doesn't just work on the S&P. This works on all futures. Make sure we understand that. Works on all futures, stocks, currency, Forex. And also crypto. So it works on all markets. No matter, it's the same exact setup. It just depends what time frame you want to trade off of. You can see this is a pretty uh, even the road time frame uh, to look for these setups. So depending on if you're a scalper or if you're a position trader, you can sort of cater the program to what you want to do. But these are the two setups you're going to look for on a daily basis. And you'll look for it over and over again. These happen daily. This is the rhythm of the market inside the zone. And then if the market is going to go to a full retracement or if it's really weak or really strong, you'll see momentum. And that's what we saw after the Fed bumped 75 basis points yesterday. You saw a lot of big movement. If you recall yesterday, when we came up in the Fed, when the Fed bumped, get these blow off rallies. Here's when the Fed bumped <coughs> yesterday. So you get you get these arrows fired automatically yesterday on this time frame. You can see the multiple entries you had on the way up. Fed came out, you look at 1430 seconds, that's when you start firing in these trades. Right here is uh, 1421 seconds, multiple entries. One, two, three, four, five. This tried to momentum. Six seven, eight, nine, you know, fired 10 trades right after the Fed came out. But you see how, how, how neat the zones were. Then it flipped to the downside, and we started getting some sell zones um, on the downside. But watch for these tweezers when this happens. I love these tweezer trades. What that is is that the, if we are ATR red and you get a momentum sell arrow on your, on your computer, and the tweezer fires off. These are nice continuations. That was a nice one. That was 55 potential all the way down to 41. You're talking about 14 S&P points with the tweezer uh, arrow that automatically fired. So those are real nice trades. And you don't have to trade this time frame. You can go to a larger time frame if you want. If you want to stick to the 12020 or even go higher, you can do that. Just change your uni Rinko bar. And it will fire in these... Uh, You can change it to a higher time frame. It will still show the arrows uh, when to fire. If you look here, the same thing happened. All right, you got nice little price action, same exact price action. Price action there, there. In fact, I'll just leave this chart on there since we have a 120.20 in the room. Anyway, I'll just keep it the same to make it simple. 
So these automatically fired, and here's your MOMO that happened this morning. So I'll leave this in the room. We'll fire right over top of the, uh, we'll put it right over the 12020. This shows it a little bit better on the 12020 right there. Um, Phil, you see how it came right up to the 80 on the 12020, Phil? And fired right at that level. That's a perfect momentum setup from an FZR. There's your FZR right into momentum. I love that combination. We went over this last night for about 20 minutes. How I like the FZR to come inside the zone. And I like the first, I like the first momentum setup. Now what you can do too is you can use this as larger time frame like it's doing now. You see how price action is dictating these cells. This is a smaller time frame. This is a 113.13. So it's caught the 113.13's caught this nice Momo set up there. Momo set up there. All three of these are Momo. This is at 6 o'clock this morning. Beautiful Momo there. After an FZR. FZR into a Momo. Into a Momo. Into a Momo. FZR right into a Momo here also. I love seeing momentum trades right after an FZR. You see how accurate they are. So this is a smaller time frame than 113.13 that we have in the room. That I just show momentum trades only. This show, this chart will show FCRs and momentum. So this will help you out. When you come into FCR, look for momentum on this time frame or this time frame. So when we came up at 811, 811's right here. This time frame right here came into the FCR on a 113.13. This is your shot to go short on a smaller time frame at 37.40. It's all the way down to 30. You're talking about 10 S&P points. Our 40 ticks just happened from this automatic arrow that fired off. Now, like I said, you can auto trade in on these. You're able to do that. That's something you do also.